Hey everyone, my name is Sadat and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I applied for the Mount Sinai elective and so what you do is essentially go onto Google and just type uh, Mount Sinai elective for um, international students and it will bring you to this page. I'll also put a link to this page uh, in my description and so yeah. Uh, this is all of their information about their elective and I'll just go through all of their uh, information so that it's easier for you guys to apply and what they say is that uh, you should just be a student at your home institution in your final year and uh, they don't uh, really care if you're not LCME approved um, institutions so that's perfect and uh, they offer a maximum of um, two four-week elective rotations via their IVS program. Uh, what they mention here is that they review all of their applications based on the strength of English proficiency, your academic standing and uh, availability of the requested elective. Since um, there are very few spots for a lot of um, students, they don't really do that on first come first serve basis but they rather check their english proficiency and academic standing and uh, i think that the application deadline for this year has already been closed and uh, it's going to reopen on august 26th so i think you should definitely apply if you plan to go next year and yeah so they mentioned here that applications are not reviewed on first come first serve basis and this is like their uh, schedule updates and the application deadline dates according to the months of electives. So for September, August and July, I think you could apply till April. And yeah, so on and so forth. Uh, admission qualifications. So you should be a reg registered student at your home institution should be in your final year and if you're an MD or an equivalent you cannot apply so you have to be a student and when you're an intern you're still a student so you can still apply then and if all of your documents must be in English let's see the elective availability and so these are the electives that are uh, applicable for all uh, international students and there are a lot of internal medicine um, electives and for me it was this one clinical neurosurgical care sub internship so these are the application documents that are required for your application and the first one is the official transcript each, each medical school has a different way of putting the transcript together and you should get your documents from your med school I have posted a template of um, the official transcript and other documents on my Instagram and I'll uh, put a link in the description as well. The next is the letter of good standing from your dean. It has to be signed and stamped by your dean. The third one is the letter of recommendation. It should be from uh, either your faculty member or someone you did an observership under or something like that. Uh, the next one is your CV and it should highlight all of your experiences and uh, your qualifications next one is your passport page um, next one is the TOEFL score or you can also just get a document uh, from your dean saying that your degree was in English language and that's what I did I didn't have to give any exams for that the next one is, a, is an application fee of $500 for us it used to be $1000 and this is a non-refundable fee so even if you apply and you don't get your elective you essentially don't get this money back and finally some of the optional documents are your personal state statement of intent and the USMLE step 1 score or just the past report and I had some all of these as well and I think that's why I was able to get a very competitive elective uh, sub internship here at Mount Sinai and I had an amazing time there, all of the attendings were uh, amazing, they taught us very well and all of the residents were really cared about us and they showed us how the service is really like. 
And so yeah, that's it for this one. If you have any questions regarding the application processes, you can contact them via their email. They are very receptive and they usually reply in a couple of days. And yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.